cool network connection. That's just, how's it get any better than that? Okay, so I missed you guys so much. I haven't done a live in like a week and I wanted to pop on here because I was having a conversation with one of my coaches. Yes, I have more than one. And she said something, she always says something so like, ear opening eye opening and she said you know toxic love to self-love because I'm always talking about toxic love to true love and I kind of I guess I kind of skipped that part for you guys so I wanted to come on here and clear that up for you um, about the toxic love to true love if that's what you're seeking which I mean we're human so we're all seeking that right that connection, that best friend, that soulmate. But the peace in the middle, the peace, that I, I do talk about it, but maybe not enough because I've gotten some feedback that maybe, um, and there she is, and uh, maybe it's not enough, maybe it's not clear that it's toxic love to self-love. Because when we're in these narcissistic relationships when we're in these toxic relationships the piece that's missing for us is the lack of self-love and self-care I know that when I you know once I got married it was like okay got the guy and kind of you know didn't take care of myself um as much as I should have and then especially after the kids like that was really when the self-care went downhill right and what that is, the energy that you're in at that point. Hey ladies, hey Paula, hey Lamore. I'm trying to say hi to everybody. Um, is mother energy. So mother energy is this energy of taking care of everybody else. Um, doing for everybody else, saying yes to everybody else, the people pleaser in you, the rescuer in you, the one that's always trying to um, be accepted and be needed by everybody else. And what happens is you end up putting yourself last. Well, when it comes to having healthy relationships all around you, everything begins and ends with you. So you have to put yourself as a priority. Now, as little girls growing up to be women, we are taught that by putting ourselves first, that's being selfish, you can even go as far as saying, that's being a bitch, hey you. And so we have these thought and thoughts in our mind that if I put myself first, then I'm being selfish and I can't do that. And my mom didn't do that and that's not the right thing to do. And the right thing to do is to take care of the kids and to take care of this and da 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 first, 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 first. I'm not saying don't take care of this stuff. I'm simply saying you cannot pour from an empty cup. You have to fill your cup up first. And so there's lots of things that you can do to, to fill your cup up first so that you feel fulfilled in order for you to start the day and be able to run a business, run a home, have healthy relationships, take care of the kids, take care of blah, 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 whatever it is in your life. If you don't, that's when you're in the mother energy and that's what mother energy is she does 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 for everybody else puts everybody else first and does not put herself sometimes she's not even on the list mother energy she's she's not even she's not even on the back burner she's not on the stove at all woman energy is what I just described to you that is where you come from a place energetically where you are filling your cup up first in order for you to be the best mom, the best partner, the best business owner, the best whatever that is for you during your day. This is so, so, so important. It is so important. In Connections Academy, the first three months, we talk about self-love and everything that falls under self-love. So there's six calls that we talk about this energy it's so important for you to get out of the mother energy even if you have children even if you have small children you cannot even parent from mother energy because that's when your kids take advantage of you right that's when the kids step all over you you have to come from a place of woman energy strong boundaries right 
taking care of yourself, feeling like you are fulfilled so that you can go throughout the day taking care of everybody else, right? That you're not depleted, that you're not frustrated, that you're not, you know, when is it my turn type of thoughts and energy inside of you while you're doing and taking care of everybody else because then that leaves you pissed off. You're, you, you, st you get pissed off at you, you get pissed off at the people around you because everyone's taking advantage of you, even at work, even your clients, whatever that is, and then you go through the whole day like that. And that is not where you wanna be. You wanna be in the woman energy. You wanna feel good straight from the get-go. You wanna know that you are fulfilled and that carries you throughout the day. Hey, Ann. So in Connections Academy, six calls on self-love. So everything that falls under self-love. So what does that entail? Of course, the actual self-love. Like how do you begin to love yourself when you've been in these disempowering relationships for so long? When you've put everybody first for so long, it's like how do I start? Where do I start to start to put myself first? Self-love, forgiveness. Forgiveness I'm going through like the calls. There'll be six calls. Forgiveness is, thanks love, hi, um, the key to healing. You must, 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 did I say you must, forgive not only yourself, but the people who did an injustice to you. Otherwise, if you hold grudges and you hold that energy of, so-and-so did that to me, I can never forgive that person. You create more of that, okay? I hope that came across clear. Trust, that's a huge obstacle when we're talking about healing after a narcissistic relationship, trust. How do you trust yourself? How do you go on a date and trust yourself that you're not gonna recreate the same shit you did before? And trusting others. How do you go through life and be able to trust other people? So in Connections Academy, in the first three months, that's why I cover all of these things. And by the way, what I just shared with you, those three, the self-love, the trust, and the forgiveness are the three keys to healing. And these three keys to healing were taught to us by our great masters, okay? I didn't make this shit up, honey. <laughs> I learned from the absolute best. So that's why it's so vital for me to put this in the first three months of my, my Connections Academy course so that we cover these things. And then truth is another one. How do you share your truth? How do you accept your truth? If you've been in an abusive relationship or abusive relationships, how do you come to terms with accepting like, okay, that's what happened to me. All right. Yes, it hurt. Yes, it, 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 you know, it felt like, you know, X, Y, and Z. But how do you come to terms and accept that that is my truth and be able to share that without crying, without a trigger, without you breaking down into the ugly cry? There are things that I share with women now, with people that I would not utter three words of a sentence because I was so ashamed of what happened. I was so in such guilt and shame and blame and just hurt and I would just go into the ugly cry and <laughs> and just could not even speak a word of it because I was in those low disempowering emotions and vibrations and I had to come to terms with my truth that Yes, my marriage failed after 22 years. Yes, I was sleeping next to a narcissistic person and didn't even know it. Yes, I went through X, Y, and Z, all the trauma, all the drama. Yes, my kids went through all that shit because I decided to stick it out and try to stay with him and work it out and carried that guilt of, oh my God, my kids would not have seen or heard or been through the shit that they did if it wasn't for me. So there was a lot of guilt. There was a lot of shame. There was a lot of hurt. But now, because I've gone through all of that healing, I can share these things with no tears, with no triggers, with no charge, because I can talk about those events, those traumas and dramas that happened in my life with ease and joy now. 
you may say joy what the fuck why would why is that joyous because i've learned my ex and the 22 years of that experience is my greatest teacher he is my greatest teacher and that experience is my greatest teacher and i would not be where i am and who i am if i had not gone through those experiences so i do love those experiences even the traumas the traumas the dramas the worst situations that i've had in my life i love them because they taught me so much about myself remember everything is a reflection of you your outside world is a direct reflection of you it's pointing the finger at you what you need to work on what you need to give attention to inside of you so that's why in the first three months of connections academy uh, the, t the main topic is self-love, but I dive deep into all of these subtopics and the archetypes of how you're showing up because what my clients or who my clients are and where I was is in that mother energy. And that's why they've attracted child energy. If you look at the narcissistic person, they're very much into child, very much in child energy. So that's why it's so important to go into all of that right from the beginning right from the top let's just dive right into the healing pieces so that we can thread that throughout the whole year of us being together <sighs> right yeah it's it's so important because otherwise you're just gonna continue to repeat the same patterns in life so when I talk about you know the relationships yes the relationship with you the relationships that you have around you so that could be spousal that could be family that could be kids that could be co-workers if you keep attracting like the same type of boss there's a reason why um, same type of relationship or with your kids the patterns keep repeating themselves that's when you need to really pay attention and go wait a minute what is going on here and that's what happened to me so back in 2014 I so I had been single at that point for about two years well let's just say two years it's a long story because <laughs> we broke up went by. but it was in 2014 towards the end that I was like yeah this shit is not happening. I kept finding myself attracting the same situations, the same person over and over again. And I, so it came to a head because life is always showing you. It's always showing you your stuff. So um, this is in the book, but I'm going to share it with you. I was dating a guy and we'll just call him Jay. And Jay uh, at the time, I didn't know this. Jay love bombed me. I didn't know what love bombing was. I had no fucking clue what love bombing was. But I just knew that we were very, very much in the beginning of our relationship. And he wanted the I love yous to be said. And I was like, I don't love you. I mean, I barely know you. How can I say I love you? Anyway, again, I was in mother energy. I was people pleasing. And... I agreed to say I love you to him when I didn't and again I didn't know at the time that that was what love bombing is so the relationship quickly was turning into like a very serious relationship um, there was no courtship there was no you know courting or whatever there was no you know it was just like boom 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 so then I went to Colorado I was on vacation with my friend and he wanted to talk all the time he wanted to be on the phone he wanted to take up a lot of my time right and so I said you know here's where my boundaries came in because I said but I didn't have healthy boundaries at that time my boundaries were like I was just being a bitch but I said to him I'm like listen I don't mind texting or whatever but I want to just enjoy my time here in Colorado I'm with my friends I haven't seen them in a couple years blah 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 and so he was very persistent because this is how they are right they're very persistent like they pounce on you and they don't let go and he was pleading his case of why we should spend all this time on the phone together blah 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 so finally again here's where the boundary came in but more of more like i was being a bitch and i was just like dude i'm done like no 
to, like if this is the way you're gonna be then no and I just completely cut it off well that led to I'm gonna go kind of long on this because it's kind of a detailed story that led to uh, when I got back here to North Carolina him faking a suicide by blah 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 getting getting me receiving an email from his sister blah 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 my point to all of that and why I'm sharing that with you is because when that situation happened and it, and it came to me I go mm, this is almost identical of a previous situation that I went through with somebody else and so what ran through my mind in that moment was okay Denise you are the common denominator between these people you're the common link between these people and these situations because these people don't know each other but yet here you are with another traumatic event another drama fest another attempted suicide another overdose another blah 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 and that's when I said, I'll put the brakes on it real quick and no more dating. I completely stopped dating. And that's when I went into my journey of my spiritual awakening, my personal growth, my personal development. And I completely focused on me from, for the next 18 months from there. So with all that being said and why I shared all that with you is because if the patterns going back to the patterns what patterns are you noticing in your life that keep happening what people situations keep showing up in your life what people and situations that keep showing up in your life they are getting worse each person or each situation is getting worse and worse than the one before or it's identical to the situation before and you're like holy crap I'm going through this crap again why that's why we dive into all of the topics pertaining to self-love and Connections Academy in the first three months. So six calls in the first three months of us going into all of these topics and the archetype that you're showing up in. Who are you showing up as? Are you in that mother energy and you're attracting child energy? It's a simple shift of out of that mother energy and into the woman energy and you start to see your life completely change for the better. Okay, so I just like, bleh. but here's what I'm doing. I am hosting six master classes for the next six weeks. I'm gonna do one class per week. If you're interested in anything that I've said, um, these master classes, I'm gonna dive really deep into, cause I'm gonna spend an hour with you, right? I'm gonna dive really deep into the archetypes and what you can do. I'm even gonna give homework assignments for you guys. So it's basically coaching, 100% coaching. If this interests you in any way, then simply PM me um, and let me know, give me your email and I can send you over the link for the master classes. So I'll give you the topics. You can sign up for any one of the classes that you want. Um, you don't have to do them all, but it would certainly benefit you if you did. And we'll take it from there. Okay, my loves. So good being back on here and I will chat with you later.